from Sam Archer. I farm at Gundagai on a property called Kincora. We're two hours west of Canberra in the foothills of the Snowy Mountains. We have sheep, cattle, we produce wool and we do a little bit of opportunity cropping. I'm delighted to be a finalist in, in this year's Bob Hawke Landcare Award. It's very humbling to be uh, chosen as one of the finalists given the calibre of other people that are doing some remarkable work in the landscape. I've, I first got involved in Landcare in the 1990s when a group of uh, farmers around here, my neighbours and, and others, decided that it was time to do something in the, in the landscape to balance productivity and, and the environment. One of, one of the sustainability benefits that we've witnessed on our property is by planting trees high in the landscape and allowing the grasses to flower and set seed, we now have a naturally occurring seed bank at the top of the landscape and gravity is going to carry those seeds lower into the landscape in perpetuity. So we've actually created, if you like, a regenerative farming system where nature does it all for us, we're not having to intervene. My hope for the next 25 years of land care is that we have a paradigm shift and we move the language from sustainability to renewable farming. We need to move forward and put in place something that's highly adaptive, very flexible, very resilient to all of the challenges that we're going to face. My name's Colin Size. I, I live on this property here called Winona, uh, in the central tablelands of New South Wales, which is just north of Golgol. Uh, my great-grandfather settled here in the 1860s, so I'm fourth generation on this farm. We run 4,000 merino sheep and grow, grow crops on about a quarter of it, on about 500 acres. The innovative farming practices that, that I use here are, are techniques that I developed with Darrell Clough. We could see the damage we were doing ploughing and using chemicals and wanted to change that. We thought we could zero till crops directly into the grassland without killing the grassland. That's how our pasture cropping was born. Those techniques now are adopted all over the world. I got first involved in land care right at the beginning of land care. The land care first started with, with, with planting trees, uh, which is fine, but we do need to move it on uh, into more regenerative agricultural practices and looking at, at soil as well as trees and plants and continue the great work, but, but uh, move it forward. Farming doesn't have to be a negative thing, it can be very positive. If we restore grasslands and, and farm and grow crops in far better ways, our farms can function as ecosystems and we can regenerate our landscape while we're farming. So it's been a real honour to be nominated for the Bob Hawke Land Care Award. There's a lot of very good farmers around Australia. It's certainly a very great honour. Hi, I'm Cam Nicholson. My wife and I found a farm on the Bellarine Peninsula about 30 minutes out of uh, Geelong. Our farming business is based mainly around cattle. We're really a livestock business. I was really delighted to be nominated for the Bob Hawke Land Care Award. To be recognised by your peers, yeah, I'm really chuffed by it. I got involved in land care probably very early on with the uh, Wodeyala catchment group in the early 90s. When I look back on some of the landscapes and some of the people that I've been involved with through land care and where we started from to where we are now, it's just fantastic. This farm's a bit of an experiment and we love trying lots of things because I think the best way to learn is actually to have a go. What's my hope for the next 25 years of land care? I'd like to see this green and brown divide that sometimes has, has crept into land care disappear. We need to run a sustainable farm operation. We need to make a profit. We've also got to look after the environment. We've only got one farm. We can't have an environmental farm and a production farm. We've got to have both and they've got to mesh in. So I'd like to see that, that we just think of farming and the landscape and the environment just as one. We've all just got to change, just do a little bit, but as long as we can do it over a sustained period of time, we'll actually make a difference.